Investigators say human remains have been found during a search for a missing spring woman. 29-year-old Taylor Pomansky has been missing since April. KPRC 2's Michael Lepardi live at the Harris County Sheriff's Office with new developments on the search. Michael. Keith, the sheriff says the Institute of Forensic Sciences will work to identify those remains. And today, the director of Equisearch spoke a little bit about their role in the search. The Harris County Sheriff says investigators found human remains during the investigation into the disappearance of 29-year-old Taylor Pomaski. At this time, Sheriff Ed Gonzalez says investigators are unclear on the identity of the remains, but believe them to be related to her case. We have to wait till they're positively ID'd. But from all the information and things that led us there, we're extremely optimistic. It's uh, it's going to be Taylor. Equisearch director Tim Miller says he got a call from a detective a few days earlier. We was kind of on a standby deal for two days, and then night before last, they called me and said, let's get your people out there. The sheriff's office says Pomaski was last seen in April, and then in June, investigators said they believe she disappeared under suspicious circumstances. Volunteers searched earlier this year. Gonzalez says the remains were located in North Harris County, but didn't give the exact spot or go into detail about what led investigators there. We were on standby very close to that property when the sheriff's department went in, knocked on the door, executed the search warrant, and told them that that we were coming in. The sheriff is encouraging anyone with information on Taylor's disappearance to come forward, saying the investigation is still ongoing. No word on how long the identification process will take. Back in June, the sheriff's office told us Taylor's boyfriend was one of several people they were questioning who interacted with her before her disappearance. And we asked today for an update on that and if that has changed, but we have not heard back yet. Reporting live outside of the Sheriff's Office downtown, Michael Party, KPRC 2 News.